Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are still talking about level measurement today with a new method, today with the plummet method. What is the plummet method? Well, we have again a silo or something like this, yeah? so and we want to measure the height, the filling height. What we actually do is have we mount here some sort of spool, yeah? rope, and at this rope we mount the plummet. Yeah? Load, load gewicht in German, plummet. Some simply some some mass. Yeah? It will pull the string, and so the motor will start moving in this direction, the plummet will go down, yeah? and once it reaches the top, the rope will not be tight again, this will be noticed, and then we know, okay, we hit the surface. Yeah? And then we start to, to go up again, yeah? other direction, and now we count the measure of how many meters we have just let down, yeah? and then we are somewhere at the top. Yeah? So this will go up and down here, yeah? and every time I pull the string back in, I measure how many rotations I've needed or something like this, something which I can, where I can determine then the length of the of the string I needed to hit the surface, All right? So the thing is that the string is losing tension when I hit the surface. So it's also it's not only for bulk material like showed here, but also for liquids, for instance. Then this is a floater and it's going to float there. And yeah. so this is this is working. And if moving up, I simply can start here a counter. Uh, with there is then maybe some some holes incremental measurement. And tuk, 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 and I know exactly how many tuk, 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 and hit it to reach the top, and then I know how long the how long the rope was. Okay, tuk, 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 tuk. of course I could use a counter and change it to a standard signal zero to twenty, four to twenty milliamps, or something like this. Also possible. So this is how this is working. Okay, you see, make a hole. There and that's it. Rather easy approach. Okay. What are the benefits of this stuff? Just make it look more technical here. Yeah? Done. Satisfied. Benefits. Can be used on a lot of materials. Huh? One benefit, other benefit can be used in very high silos. Yeah? Fifty meter plus, even fifty meters, working. Huh? What is negative about it? Yeah, disadvantage. Check. It's not. It's not continuous measurement. Yeah. Not a continuous measurement. So I only have at certain points the knowledge about the level. If this is very volatile, huh, this is not suitable. Huh, and needs maintenance. Like everything which is moving and so on, where you have moving parts, you need to have some maintenance. Plummet method. 
Again, another method to measure measure level. Next time, conductivity method. Again, another method to measure level. Level is measured always and a lot of things. So there are a lot of, of, of uh, methods. So this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.